Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vaseem, the Sajjan at Arms. And I would like to welcome all of you to the 38th meeting of the Bahrain IT Professionals Toastmasters Club. And I hereby call the 38th meeting of the BITP to order. Can I ask the Vice Director, Toastmaster Basha, would you please introduce yourself, please? Thank you. I'm happy to be here today. I am District 38 director for the second year. I enjoy going around meeting people and I came when I saw your flyer and I saw that Samir would be here and I haven't seen him in a while and thought I would come see him on screen. So happy to be here. Looking forward to a great meeting. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. President. And thanks for Tusmasa Muhammad for inviting me to this meeting. Uh, I'm Samir Kamal, immediate past District 79 director. And I'm in Toastmasters since 2012, mm -hmm. and it seems it's a lifetime membership. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, good evening to you all. Good evening. Mohammed Munir uh, from Sri Lanka Club Symposium Toastmasters, and currently I'm holding the position Vice President Education. Thank you. Thank you Peace so much. To have the Thank you. Thank you. A good honor. And we have a guest. Ram, we have, I think Ram, we had him earlier. Uh, yes, uh, we have, we had many Rams earlier, but I don't think it's you. I can confirm I've never been here before. My name is Ram. Uh, I've been a Toastmaster for six and a half years now, but I'm the current VPE of a corporate club here in the United Kingdom. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for being here, Ram. Yeah. Thank you. We have, we have a lot of rams and we have a very variant ram from UK. Thank you so much for being with us here. That, can somebody adopt the agenda with the, with the changes? Hi, Muhammad, uh, Toastmaster Muhammad Vikar, adopt the agenda. Toastmaster Muhammad Vikar then has, has adopted the agenda and some, can somebody second it, please? Yeah, I second it. Okay, the VP Education Toastmaster Ahmad Saleh has seconded. Okay, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, we all have traveled on flights, right? But, and we all know what is the experience of traveling on flights. Now, this pandemic has restricted our travel to different places. But we know what is the experience of a flight, and how big a flight is, how powerful a flight is. And, and even that big flight, as big as uh, Airbus A380, when it's parked near a gate, you will need a small, powerful vehicle called the pushback truck or the pushback, you call it a pushback uh, 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 tow. It's, it's called pushback tuck. The pushback tuck or the pushback tractor, the small vehicle is the one that pushes it across because a flight cannot reverse on its own. Now, when this mighty vehicle, the mighty flight is being pushed back by a small vehicle, small but powerful vehicle, you will look at it and if you are a person who does not know what a flight is, you don't know the capability of a flight, you will look at it and say, what a handicapped vehicle is that? Because this big vehicle is being pushed up by a small vehicle. And then it is pushed up to the, to the runway and when it's reaching there, it slowly taxis. Now, if somebody has not seen a flight and knows the capability of a flight, looks at that flight and sees that, oh, that is all that can, flight can do. It can only taxi slowly. Now, it taxis across and it reaches the main runway and then it gains speed. Once it gains speed, then it takes off with whim and vigor and it goes up to altitudes that are high. We know for sure that the flight cannot say that I don't need that pushback tractor anymore. Because when the flight lands back on this airport or any other airport and it reaches the gates, it should still need that pushback tractor to pull it back into the runway. That's the same with Toastmasters. In Toastmasters, when a new member joins the club, maybe he may not be so confident in speaking, may not be confident in many assignments and activities, but you have pushback tractors here. They're called mentors, they're called evaluators, they're called different assignees, as well as fellow Toastmasters who are responsible to push them back. But the way they push it back, and you look as if you know they're handicapped, they cannot do anything. But when, the, when they are pushed back, into the pathways program. When they reach the pathways program, they slowly, gradually move. 
And somebody who do not know their potential will look at them and say, they can only move at that pace. And if they make a small icebreaker, they move into the next level to next day speech. It goes slowly, but they will taxi across, but eventually they will gain speed and they will indeed fly with wind and vigor. That is the way the Toastmasters program has been designed. Now, when they take fly, none of them can ever say that I don't need a pushback tractor anymore. None of them can ever say that I don't need that kind of a small vehicle anymore because some point of time they're going to land up and they would need the pushback tractor one more time. They will need the mentors. They will need the evaluators. They will need the assignees one more time. And, you know, I can say that there are times when we have the ups and downs when each of us can be pushback tractors for each other. I have been joined Toastmasters way back in 2002. And I've, in this next year itself, I was the area champion. I was at my apex. But then I tried several times and I did not win the international speech, but I did win the evaluation in other places. But irrespective of winning, because of my tight schedule at work and, and the family, 2009, I had to say goodbye to Toastmasters and take a break from there. And when I took a break from Toastmasters, I thought I will never come back to Toastmasters. But in the year 2012 or 13, I don't remember, uh, there's an incident that changed my mentality. When I visited Doha for a business trip and I was checking out of the hotel, there was a man who approached me in the lobby and said, are you Toastmaster Santosh? And I was surprised because uh, nobody has addressed me by that Toastmaster name for a long time. And I said, yes. I said, you don't know me. Me, but I know you because I was there when you were giving the winning speech in 2003 and your speech changed me. I said, how is that? He said, I was a person who was going from one business after another. I was making losses in one business and then moving to the next and making losses in that. I was a failure totally. But there is one particular sentence that you mentioned in your speech which said, victory is not one in miles, but in inches. Win a little now, hold your ground, and then later win a little more. This changed my life together. The business that I was going was not doing, going so well, but I said, I will take that man's advice and I'll stick on and I will never quit and I'll do my best before I, I throw my towels. And indeed that business took on very well. And I'm doing the same business. It's spread across countries. And that is why I'm here in Doha. I wanted to one day thank you. And here I'm face to face with you to say, thank you for that, those words. And I said, I'm, I'm so happy that I, I made a change in your life, but I'm not with Toastmasters anymore. He said, no, sir, don't do that. Go back to Toastmasters because there are people who would like to hear from you. There are people like me who would like to be resurrected by those words. And, and that, that particularly said, I, how do I come back to Toastmasters? I've got, a, I've got a very tough schedule in hand. In 2019, DTM Khalid Jalal, our, our founder president, called me up and said, we are a bar in IT professional Toastmasters. Would you like to join? I said, it's, it's my, my, I've got a tough schedule. They said, we all of us have tough schedules. Come along. We all will hand, hold hands together. And then I remember those voices of that man saying that, come back. Somebody would like to hear your voice again. And then, yes, I'm back here. I, I know I may not have taken off, but I am gaining speed indeed. You don't know for sure that sometimes, you know, I, that man said that, his, I was his inspiration, but to be frank, you know, I was, he said that I was his pushback tractor, but the fact is that he was my pushback tractor because he was the one who pushed me back into Toastmasters. When Kali Jala came, he didn't have to insist me much because those words were revolving around mine. Somebody wants to hear a voice again. Yes, I'm here. And I want to tell the same thing to everybody here. Somebody wants to hear your voice because the experiences that all of you share are totally different and distinct. Everybody's voice has a, has a strength and everybody can add value and vigor and whim to every, each other. And you should know this wonderful moment called Toastmasters moment that was formed by Dr. Ralsi Smelly in the year 1924 in Santa Ana, California, as today have 358,000 members spread across 153 countries. And this Toastmasters offers us opportunity not just to be taxing, but to gain speed and to take off and fly at attitudes we never thought it would be possible for us. And one great advantage is that we could be pushback tractors, not to each other, pushback tractors to each other. Now let's celebrate that, 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 let's remember that each one of us are great pushback tractors and each one of us are great flights, potential to be Airbus A380, 380s and supersonic flights. It is just that the matter of understanding who we are, you know, um, with lots of him, let's taxi, gain speed and take off. Welcome again to the 30th meeting of the BITP Toastmasters Club. Thank you so much. Moving ahead.
Thank you for joining us today, all of you. And in that case, I would like to welcome our uh, club growth director.